look at how beautiful that is. Look at that shade difference. It kind of give my lips, but it's like very natural. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to The Clean Beauty Code. I'm so excited for this video because we're doing my beach proof makeup look. And this is my go-to, never steered me wrong, never looks bad by the end of the day, makeup look that always makes me feel put together, always makes me feel like I'm not doing too much. It makes me feel super natural. And I know a lot of people like to go more heavy handed with their makeup at the beach, but I like something that's super, super simple and easy. So by the end of being at the beach, or by the pool all day, if I have to go somewhere, it's super easy to reapply. But also if I want to just feel kind of put together, but not like I'm wearing too much, nothing's gonna really clog my pores. And I also have a really good trick for how I like to reapply my sunscreen throughout the day because sometimes when you apply a ton of sunscreen, my face starts to build. So I like this trick that I like to use. So um, yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. Um, the makeup look is on my face and it's super simple, super natural. It's not anything crazy. I know there's a lot of people that like to go more heavy handed with their makeup at the beach, um, which is great. It's just not kind of what I like to do just because I, I always end up feeling, this is weird, but I'm always feeling a little bit claustrophobic at the beach or the pool if I'm doing too much on my face, but this is really my go-to look. So yeah, I just wanna jump into this video and get started. So if you're excited for this video and more videos like this, then please like and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get into my beach proof makeup look. Beach proof makeup, let's get into it, you guys. I'm really excited. So um, I like a little bit of something for the beach, but I don't like it to be over the top, but I do like to wear something. I know a lot of people like to go full send with their beach makeup or completely wear nothing, all is great, but this is generally what I like to do. So I always put on a sunscreen, I already have one on. The one I'm wearing doesn't have shimmer in it, but I do wear ones that have a little bit of sh shimmer in them. Um, so I do have the K-Skin one. I also have um, Super Goop, the glow screen that they have. So there's a lot of options out there if you like something with a little bit of shimmer. Um, but today I just wore like a regular just no sheen sunscreen. Um, and that's cause I'm gonna show you things that I like to kind of wear if I'm not wearing a sunscreen that has a sheen because I know a lot of people don't like that. So that's what we're gonna do today. So first moisturized and sunscreen. Um, I am gonna talk about like reapplying sunscreen cause that is important. And there's ways you can do it without completely ruining your makeup. If you are wearing makeup, you just have to find the right product for you. So first things first, I like to do my brows. Now brows, I always stick with something that is a natural looking, nothing too crazy. I don't like to have my brows looking really like glued up and stuck or anything. I kind of stick with my regular products. So the first thing I'm gonna use is the Rose Ink Brow Gel. Now I really like this. Um, it holds my brows in place. It doesn't leave like a jelly look to them. It leaves it looking really natural. It's almost like a brow gel and a brow pomade combination. The hold is really, really great. I actually just opened a new one. I feel like this is like my fourth of this. So this is the wand. And as you can see, it has like, you can see a little bit of white on it, but the white cast doesn't really go on your brows. If you have darker brow color, just kind of make sure that there isn't like any like specks um, with anything. Cause I feel like a lot of the time stuff gets missed when you're going really, really rushed. And that's the same with, if you go with a clear brow gel, just make sure it's not one that's gonna like look too jelly and have like that white jelly kind of look that can happen. Um, and there's plenty of tinted brow gels. My preference is just always to have a clear. So we're going to do that. And I'm just going to apply this before I do anything else. It just, oh, that's how I like to do my makeup. But I know a lot of people like to do their brows after everything, but it just sets me up for success with my makeup. If I go with brow gel first, plus um, that way I also don't, if I'm wearing any product on my face that could get on the brush, I kind of avoid dirt dirtying the clear brow gel because you don't wanna do that. I mean, you, you might wanna do that, I don't wanna do that. All right, brow gel is on, let's move on to pencil. So I don't always fill in my brows, sometimes I just leave it. I do have to like shape my brows. My brows are currently in 
disarray and I've just been leaving them for a really long time so I do need to shape them so I am going to fill them in but a lot of the time if my brows are, are shaped I shape them myself a lot of the time but I also will go get them shaped um, if they're shaped I'll just leave it but you know how sometimes when your brows are not really in a great spot you always just want to fill them in um, so I'm going to go on with this brow pencil from Westman Atelier um, PYT has one that is also really similar to the Westman Atelier one where they're more of a waxy consistency the PYT is a little bit more waxy than the Wisman Atelier one, but they're both great. They both last really long on the brows and it doesn't fade super, super fast. So go with something that doesn't fade fast because as we all know, we get sweaty at the beach. So I'm just going to fill in my brows really, really quick and get this scar that I have here um, and try and fill that in a little bit. Brows are filled, feeling happy about it. So the next, next we're gonna talk complexion. So um, depending on kind of where my skin is at, what I'm feeling like I need, um, I'll kind of go with one of three products um, or sometimes I won't go with any of these if I'm feeling like my skin is looking good, feeling good, all of those things. So if I do want a little, a little touch of something, whether it's not necessarily coverage. I don't really go coverage for the beach. I know a ton of people do. It, I just, it just, every time I've done coverage at the beach, I've always kind of hated how I'm looking after a couple of hours. So I avoid really thinking about going for coverage, but I will go with something that is a skin tint or sometimes I will take, if I don't have a skin tint on hand and I have like a concealer or I have something that is maybe more of a medium coverage thing, I will take a little bit and put it in a um, face cream and kind of sheer it out that way. But if not, I'd go with something like this from Summer Fridays. This is their sheer skin tint. Oh my God, look how, can you tell how dirty this bottle is? Ew, but I use this all the time. But this is really, really great. I wear the shade five in this and this is great. It just evens out the complexion. It gives a little something without it being a ton. It definitely is more sheer. Um, I would say sheer too, like you can build it to be light, but I do really, really enjoy this as a go-to. And I know a lot of other people like to use this for the beach. This is a nice product if you wanna wear something on your face, but you don't want it to be much. And this does feel very much like skincare. Um, so this is great. Then if I'm wearing a sunscreen that doesn't have shimmer in it, or I want something that has a little bit of shimmer and just kind of perfects my skin that way, um, I like to go with these. These are from Verse and these are the, what are they? I always mess up the name, the Moon Lighting Glow Drops. And I have the two shades. I don't know if they have any more, but I have to, two shades at least. So they have, this is bronze, which is the bronze color and then golden. Um, and a lot of the time, depending on where I'm at with my complexion, I'll either use one, mix them or use, you know, the other. And I really, really like the way that this kind of just gives a nice like sheen and almost gives like a perfected look to the skin, but also very natural. It's very nice. And then if I'm worried about my T-zone being overly dewy because I do have combo skin. So sometimes right here can get crazy, crazy dewy. Um, sometimes not, not, but still like oily. Um, I will go with something that's a little bit more mattifying in the T-zone. And right now I'm loving this one from Nude Sticks. This is great. You can just apply it directly to your face. And I really like to focus like right in the middle of my forehead, right around my nose and like right here and my mustache area and then um, on my chin. And I just take a little bit, apply it like directly from the thing onto my face and then really like press it in and just kind of, you, a very little bit of this goes a long way. I really enjoy this. Um, I like to also wear it for like, if I have an event and I know I'm, it's like a long day, I'll wear this underneath my makeup as like kind of prep because it just helps control oil and then makes me like not feel as dewy by the end of the day or look as dewy by the end of the day. But a lot of the time I will just go bare skinned. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of this today just so we do have something on the skin. This is the Summer Fridays Sheer Skin Tint. And I'm gonna just do two, oh, that was three. I, meant I was gonna do two drops, but we have three. Take a little bit of this and just apply it to my face. I really like this and it does give a, just the, the smallest amount of something. Um, and I really like how it makes my complexion look without being like too much. It gives a little tiny bit of something, but it also doesn't, um, 
give you a mask or give really any coverage, but it does just kind of smooth over your complexion. And if you're feeling like you have redness or something that you just want kind of toned down, this is a really great product. I really enjoy this. So then next, one thing I always go with is a concealer under my eyes because I do have dark under eyes. And this is one I really enjoy. This is Say Beauty um, concealer. This is a more sheer concealer, but it does give your under eyes a little bit of dew, nothing too, too crazy, but that does give you a little bit of dew and it does brighten, but it is more on the sheer side. And I do really like it. So what I like to do is I like to take just like that, nothing crazy, a couple dots. And I like to apply to my under eyes and then blend with my fingers. And I, with this concealer, I have always found that blending with my fingers is the key to success. Um, a brush definitely doesn't work as well as your fingers. And a brush also doesn't work as well, in my opinion, as a sponge, at least in my experience. So um, if I'm gonna do anything I'll do that isn't my fingers, I'm gonna use a sponge, but I do tend to like to use my fingers. So I'm gonna now blend with my finger and I just like to tap it in and create a nice, it looks rested under eyes, what I want. Next, let's move on to cheeks. So I just go on with a blush. I'm gonna go on with a long lasting blush. If you like to use bronzer, I would again go with a long lasting bronzer, but I just like to go on with blush for this, especially if I just don't want too many products, but I want a little bit of something. Um, and I always go on with a cream because I like to reapply my sunscreen and we'll talk about how I reapply my sunscreen at the end, but I like to go on with a long lasting blush. So this one works really well for me, the Tower 28 blush. I really, really like this. This is the shade um, Magic Hour, which is great um and i know there's like people love the rare beauty blush so whatever one works really really well for you do that um, i'm gonna go with the cool fee blushes today so i have two shades here pinky promise and the shade sandalwood swirls i'm gonna go with this one um because this is a really good beach shade for me it kind of goes with how i naturally would flush up so i like something that kind of goes with my natural flush if i get super super hot i always avoid being in the sun a lot. Um, and I don't ever, um, if I can wear a baseball hat or something to avoid getting sun on my face, if I don't have an umbrella or something I can hide under, um, I'll always make sure I kind of cover my face because I don't want to age or sunburn because that's not great. So I like to take a little bit on the back of my hand. Again, I don't know if I said what shade this is. This is sandalwood swirls. Take a brush and I will just apply it directly to my cheeks. I love that these are really, really good blushes and they really, really have like a nice longevity. I'm a really big fan of them and they have some great shades. And if you're looking for, you know, a good purple blush, because they do have, I think they might have two type of more plummy and then a true purple. They have really beautiful colors, but these are great. I love these. So then next, next, I don't do any eyeshadow or anything like that. Um, if I was gonna do anything, I would maybe put a little bit of bronzer in my crease and on my lower um, lash line, but I just, I. I I try to avoid that in a true beach proof makeup look. So the next, under my eyes, I just like to do a little bit of setting with powder. So we're gonna do a little bit of a the Ami Cole setting um, powder, just to have that extra insurance. It helps your concealer last longer and just, it's good to have a little bit of powder because you're gonna end up sweating. So it's nice to do a little bit of powdering. So that's what we're gonna do, nothing crazy. This is the Ami Cole translucent. I always try to have a translucent powder on hand. I also always, especially in summer, carry with me a like small translucent powder. Right now I'm loving the Westman Atelier and a little triangle powder puff. You can get, I'll, I'll link the ones that you, you can just buy them on Amazon, but you can probably also buy them in person at like Ulta or whatever. Just have one of those. It's nice to be able to tap um, your under eyes, double check everything's like looking good. But also if you go inside from the beach, but you're going like straight to dinner or whatever, um, it's nice to just have something to kind of tone down T-zone and just check that everything looks good. So that's always like a key to having good peach proof makeup because even if you're not wearing anything to just tone down how shiny we all get when we're at the beach, it's ideal. So the next, next we're gonna move on to eyes. So um, I don't do any 
eyeshadow or anything but if i were to do anything i would do a little bit of bronzer in the crease and a little bit of bronzer on my lower lash line but really i don't really do anything if i can avoid it now um i like to curl my lashes and i do one of two things i either go with like you can do an aquaphor or you can do i like to take the lana lips 101 ointment put it on my fingers and put it on my lashes and then curl my lashes i actually have a video i just did that is my no mascara kind of makeup look. Um, I did it not that long ago. Maybe I'll link that down below so you can see how I do that. I love that trick and that's kind of my go-to. Um, so I always make sure to have a lash curler on me. That is key and I curl my lashes or I'll go on with this mascara, um, the Cali Ray Beauty. What is this called? Come Hell or High Water? Come Hell or High Water mascara. This is a great option. It's a good tubing mascara and it does like really last long on the lashes so we're gonna do that today because i just showed you guys my trick with the um lano lips on my lashes but if you want to see kind of how that kind of turns out i will link that video down below just so you can see but that's a great trick um and i love to do that on true no makeup makeup days and just days where i don't want to worry about anything on my lashes Okay, so lashes are curled. I'm gonna go on with the um, Cali Ray because I haven't used this for a while on camera and I do want to show you kind of how it applies and stuff. But again, a lot of the time, I'll just go with a little bit of um, Lano Lips 101, but you can also go Aquaphor, whatever you want on my lashes, curl my lashes and be out the door. But this is also a great mascara if I do want a little bit of extra but my normal go-to is just no mascara at all, but it'll depend also on what my plan is for later in the day. And sometimes it's just nice to have mascara already on, especially if you're planning on going from the beach straight to go to dinner or do something. It's nice to um, have that. And this is a great tubing mascara that looks great. And I won't if I'm going to the beach, I never put anything on my lower lash line because that's just setting me up for failure, to be honest. I just love how this look looks. Like it just ends up looking really natural. It really gives like a no makeup makeup. And especially if you don't go with the mascara at all and you just do the curl your lashes with a little bit of Lano Lips 101, Aquaphor, whatever you want. You could even be Vaseline if you want, just whatever you like, you don't mind putting near your eyes. Curl your lashes and you're just good to go. So it's really very no makeup makeup when you do that, but this mascara doesn't do too much. It's not trying too much. It's just very simple and it really makes you look awake and open. So the next we do lips. Now I always go with a um, tinted lip balm of some type, lip product of some type, and I really, really like hydrating my lips at the beach because first of all, I never drink water on a regular day, but at the beach, I definitely never drink water. It's so bad. And especially if you're like having a cocktail by the pool or whatever it is, dehydration can come quick. So I like something that always hydrates my lips and makes me, my like smooths over any dryness I get and is great. So I actually have a video coming that's gonna be talking about my um, top like go-to summer lip products. And I have a whole bunch of products in there that I'm gonna kind of recommend for Go to in summer things that I will definitely be grabbing all summer. So that video is coming, but I have two that I want to talk about today. And one of them is this. This is from Rowan Beauty, and this is um, their liquid lip balm. And this is in the shade Charlie. This is like my third or fourth one of these. I love this, and I always have one in my purse. Like I can't not have it. So I'm gonna try this on. And I'm gonna try on the other one for you. But this is great, and this is just such a good lip color for me. So I'm gonna show you this one. It's just so natural. I mean, look at that lip color. It's such a your lips but better color and it hydrates and it gives some sheen. It's so good. I mean, look at that. It's your lips but better in every way and I feel like it would look good on so many people. I have a ton of the Rowan liquid lip balms. This is kind of my everyday because it works with my natural lip color, but there's so many shades out there. I definitely recommend checking them out. Really, really good. So the next we have this one from RMS. This is their lip lights and this is in the shade bare and this has like a little bit of a ph thing going on with it but it doesn't have that bright pink ph color that sometimes ph like adjusting lip products have that are like too pink this is a really nice one so i'm going to just show you look how pretty it's i love this shade look at that it's like such a pretty ph color that isn't like doing too much i just love it look how pretty that is it's so nice and going with something that's like 
kind of with your natural lip color, but your lips were better again and just enhances and adds a touch of color to your face without it doing too much or look like you're trying too hard or wearing a lipstick or whatever. This is great, I love this. And then last but not least, is how I like to reapply my sunscreen. So I like to spray my sunscreen on my face. Um, I like really like this one from the brand Habit. Um, this is their Cucumber Mister, but they have a bunch of scents. If you don't like scented stuff, this one is not for you because it is scented. Um, but I really like to spray my face with this and that's how I kind of reapply my sunscreen. And I don't mind the way that it makes my face look or feel. And re really at the end of the day, it's just about like not burning and not and avoiding trying to age, okay? <laughs> this is great. Um, there are a bunch of brands that have spray sunscreen. Super Goop has one. My friend loves the Super Goop one. I really like this one. Um, and that's just kind of how I like to apply my sunscreen. And then if I'm feeling like I'm getting too greasy or anything, again, I always have a um, small translucent powder with me that I will like apply to my face. But I really, really like kind of this makeup look and I love this routine. It always makes me feel pretty put together, kind of done, you know, full face done. And I know a lot of people go like full heavy makeup and that I think that's great, but I like to go very minimal, very few products. A lot of the time, if I'm feeling good about my skin, I won't go with anything besides maybe the product that is more of a T-zone mattifier, just so I don't feel too greasy by the end of the day. Um, but a lot of the time, if I'm feeling good with my skin, which last summer I was not feeling good with my skin, but this summer I am feeling good with my skin. So far, fingers crossed, knock on wood, all of the things. Um, I won't necessarily go on with anything too much. I will probably go this summer specifically with like just a shimmer sunscreen and exactly what I just did and then reapply my sunscreen with this. And yeah, that is it for my beach proof makeup look. I would love to know your thoughts down below. What do you like to use for uh, your kind of beach proof makeup look that kind of never steers you wrong? Let me know down below. I would love to know. And yeah, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.